Georgia-grown produce and products can be found at their peak of freshness at local farmers markets across Georgia. And while you are there, introduce yourself to your neighbors, the local farmers. They can show you how to select items for that special recipe or even suggest how to use their treasures in a unique and tasty way. Hi, I'm Mark Taft, executive chef and owner of Chicken in the Egg Restaurant in Marietta. I'm at the Sweet Auburn Curb Market in Atlanta to talk to you about Georgia-grown tomatoes. When you go to your local farmer's market, you're going to find many varieties. Whichever you choose, make sure that they're plump, smooth, and firm. Try to avoid any that are cracked, bruised, or soft. Once you get them home, you can ripen them on the counter by placing them stem side up. Once they're fully ripened, you can place them in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Just keep in mind, the longer they're in the refrigerator, the more color they'll lose and flavor. Before you use your tomatoes, make sure that you wash them under cold water and wipe them with a dry paper towel. And any leftovers, ensure that you keep in the refrigerator. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make green tomato chow chow. It's a recipe that'll have you enjoy in Georgia grown tomatoes year round. Why don't we walk over to the kitchen area? At my restaurant, Chicken and the Egg in Marietta, I love to find ways to use Georgia-grown tomatoes year-round. And I think one of the best ways to do it is my recipe for green tomato chow chow. So to make this at home, in a pot, we're gonna take apple cider vinegar, light brown sugar, minced garlic, kosher salt, celery seed, yellow mustard seed, and red pepper flakes. Over high heat, we're gonna bring that to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, we're gonna lower the heat and we're going to add our green tomatoes, our Vidalia onions, and our red bell peppers. We're gonna simmer that for five to seven minutes and it, just until the ingredients turn tender. And then we're gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool completely at room temperature. Now, if you get anxious like me, you're probably gonna to wanna to put it in a refrigerator and enjoy it for the next couple of weeks. Or if you want it around for the winter months, you can can and preserve it and it'll be even better then. Now, I love this condiment on hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue pork, pimento cheese sandwiches. I even love it on biscuits and gravy for breakfast. So I hope that you can find the same number of ways to enjoy it like I do. So please remember to support your Georgia farmers, your local farmers market, and for more information, please visit our website.